onto your seats because whenever Rami Ashour plays, it's fast and furious. And Gawad is going to open the court up because he loves angles, he loves to attack. Men's final match, Karim Abdul Gawad of Egypt to serve. Rami Ashour of Egypt to receive. Best of five games. So Karim Abdul Gawad gets the men's final of the 2016 Hong Kong Open underway. Nicely introduced final by our central referee, John Mazzarella of England. One thing that we haven't mentioned as well is that we're guaranteed an Egyptian double in the men's and women's with Goha clinching the women's title. And out. One blast. Yes, she did very well, didn't she, Lee, to, uh, to turn that match around. Yeah, very impressive for someone so young. It's been a good month for her, really, winning the World Junior Championships and then picking up her first World, World Series title. Yep. <laughs> we saw yesterday in Rami Shaw's match how far up the court he was standing against Max Lee. Well, it's because he's got quite a small, he's got a very compact and small swing, isn't he? And he can still punch long or short from that position. So he can take up these high areas because he needs less reaction time to get the swing ready. Yeah. He's a major, major influence on the modern game. You know, when he came along, no one had seen anything like it. and. I think since the emergence of Rami Ashour, we, we can attribute a lot more attacking squash to him, but also swings getting more compact and shorter yeah. because it's all sped up. You know, he's a maverick, isn't he? Absolutely. You can never second guess what he's going to do next. Yeah, it's been great to see him back on the tour. I mean, my worry for Gawad in this match is if he opens the court up too much because he, he does possess so much skill that he loves to fire the ball around and he has to be positive. But if he does it too much, then I think he's going to get picked off. I think if he can construct and build rallies, then, then that's where his best work is going to come. Yeah. Well, this is certainly a long rally. I don't think he needs really long rallies like this either, though. <laughs> needs a balance between the two. Oh, great finish there by Rami Shaw. Three love. Rami Ashour is on fire at the beginning of this match. He's not got a plane to catch, has he, Paul? <laughs> well, he's looking very relaxed on there. Great improvisation there on, his, uh, on the forehand drop shot. Ball was close to his feet. Just managed to deflect it back into that front corner. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's a ridiculous so shot from Ashour. Just Great can't tell. We can't tell where the ball's going to go when he's doing that. Well, there's a bit of a confidence booster for Gawad. And out. That would do him the world of good. Sailing out from a short. Two six. Good 
down. Three six. It's a still big lead for sure, but Gawad has got himself within three points. Down. Can't leave it there though, can you? Normally, you can cramp people up with a loose shot, but because a sure just adjusts and he, he just, just improvises so well. He does, yeah. Plays a lot in through the hands, doesn't he, a sure? Look at this for a rally. Uh, <laughs> oh, he's only gone and hit him with the ball. <laughs> That's the way to stop a short. That's it. <laughs> if all else fails. Nice rally, though, between the two. down from Gawad. Really ambitious shot. Nine, four. It's a big lead for a short. Not sure, it's gonna be a no let, I think. Are you asking? Decision is sure. No let. Just felt that Shaw got stuck on his heels and slightly down. there. Goad oh, showing no. the drive before playing the drop shot. He's used that very well this week, Goad. Probably more so on his backhand side where he really moves to the ball with a very aggressive movement and big back swing and then just stuns that ball in short. Very difficult to react to no. if you're expecting a deep ball. Yeah, players do it in two different ways, don't they? Sometimes they'll slow everything down Six and then nine. speed it up to drive, yeah. or then slow it down and keep it slow to drop. Or they do it the other way around, where they, they actually speed it up and drive, yeah. or speed it up and then drop. People have that preference, don't they, in terms of what they use more. Well, a ball Down. clipping the top of the tin. So all of a sudden, Gawad is back Seven, in this game. He's only two points adrift. Played well, Lee. He's played well the second part, uh, the second half of this game. A couple of errors from Ashaw as well, though. That's yep. helped him a bit. I mean, you're right. Gawad's been really solid. I thought that right the way through the match, he's just been getting picked off a bit. Yeah. Oh, that's well done. See there onto that ball so early, racket prepared and just held Rami Ashore's movement.
Oh, that's just classic Rami Ashour. Moving Gawad from corner to corner. Oh, looking to pounce on the volley. Great rally there. Well, that was brutal stuff for Gawad. Put a lot of work into his legs there. Game ball. So, two game balls for Ashour. Sure seems to have an age while he waits for that ball to be played. Nine ten game ball. So Gawad within one point again. Still game ball for a sure in the green though. Well the ball's clipped the line. Yeah, the ball's clipped the line. Gawad walks off. Remy Shaw also walks off, taking that first game. Well, Shaw not happy with his drop shots in that first game. So it's Remy Shaw who takes the first game 11 9, and he's leading Kareem Abdul Gawad by one game to love.